Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to another reading another video. In today's video we're going to see about what's on the foreseeable future. So this could apply to many things and many aspects. Let's just go ahead into the cards, hoping you're doing great. We have pile number one, two, three, and four. So choose one which is, you know, which feels called to you and let's just go ahead into the cards. All right, hello there, pal number one. You choose number 11, the butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. So maybe right now you are actually in a path of transformation, right? That's the first thing that I get. And also there's a lot of, um, you know, calling in here to step up. So I do feel like you might just acquire a very new knowledge or I do feel like you've just received many new information as of recently. You just kind of realize about many things as of recently. And I do feel like you're being awakened. <laughs> you know, you're being awakened as if like the chains around you are breaking. That's what I see you're becoming someone that's what I see you're becoming someone new and um, you know what people said better better late than sorry better late than never and I do feel like you are maybe in a spectrum of a little bit late uh, than how it's supposed to be but I do feel like you are absolutely doing the correct thing the right thing right now and let's see about what's on the foreseeable future so okay we have the magician card yeah so i do feel like you're discovering a lot of your power so this is this could be a power that in a sense um because what i get immediately is solar plexus with the color right so i do feel like you're just reconnecting a lot with uh, many habits i think that were there in the past so for example if you love singing if you loved singing back in the past you will be you know reconnecting with a lot of that in here and 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 i do feel like you're going just going to reconnect a lot with your root reconnect a lot with your confidence reconnect a lot with um with the journey along the way that you forgot i think that's the feeling i get and for some reason i feel a little bit like a little bit harder to breathe you know on this on this specific file pile so i do feel like you guys have been just kind of waiting you know for for quite some time for things to come up i think or or for some inspiration to really guide you or for for the angels and the guides and here to to tell you something or you know to give you some signs but it just never never were there so you're kind of a little bit lost i think you know in here like which which way i should go and what i should be doing i think what's on the foreseeable future in here we have the mm -hmm, loving seeing that let's uh, pull two more and then we have two more. We have the Page of Cups and the Hierophant 2. Bottom deck we have in here is a Six of uh, Wands. I love saying that. So I do feel like success is definitely guaranteed. I do see that um, on the foreseeable future. It, it, it may take some time. So whatever goals you have in mind, try to focus on it. Try to focus on it. It will take some time, but you'll get there because you have this uh, willpower creation card. Uh, the magician, you know, possess such a you know such a strong power and and wide range of power. But the thing is that about power, you know, the the, the bigger the power you know the, the bigger responsibility will be as well so what i see in here if you have a certain planned detail about what you want to do keep hanging on to it because i do feel like this spell is specifically for the people that kind of a little bit have the idea about what they wanted to do and if you have that hang on to it um there are some of the things you need to work on i see on the force of future which is more about patience and really being consistent you know to, to build into that path to be to be, yeah, to, to, to really convince yourself that you can make it and along the way you will fall, along the way you will stumble, along the way you will, hell, in here, dragged into the other side of the road, off the cliff. And, but it's all going to be worth it as long as you are willing enough to do it because I think it it's, it is a, such a strong calling about whatever it is you wanted to do and it's kind of aligned really with your heart. Mm -hmm. it's really aligned with your heart especially with the ace of swords so maybe you've um got many confirmation and receiving many details and also about what it is that you're supposed to be doing so and i do see more also for specific people specific people in here it's it's it's, it's about just putting yourself more in on on public because i think this pile may be half kind of suppress a lot of your gift a lot in here look at this we have the um six of wands and we have the queen of wands so i, I think you guys you know possess such a high power and you guys have so much like range you know into the things that you want to do so you could be ruling a lot of um fifth house you could be ruling you know the rulership could be in in leo or or in in aries you know which is a very very active um goal-oriented people and but I think sometimes you kind of lack patience and don't follow up really into your plans. So what I see on the first table feature in here is that you will be consistently maintaining that goals that you have in your mind and making it come true. And that's interesting that we got the Page of Cups and the Hierophant card as the, you know, like, these two cards are supposed to be what 
what you should be done to really support the idea or the things that you want to do in a foreseeable future. Um, doing it with others, you know, so maybe by, by the group in here, I think can make it a little bit bearable, a bit more bearable. So whatever it is, maybe join, you know, make others join or you join the others in here because the more fun, the more connected you are with, um, you know, with, with light hearted energy, I think the more highly the, the, the high yeah the higher the chance that you'll be successful on to making this things this, this shift and making it even merrier that's what i see and the six of wands in here so i think you'll get a lot of validations and in a, in a foreseeable future you will be getting a lot more appreciation for many people and make sure that you're open to receiving a lot of that because especially if you've been in a very like lonely and alone path sometimes it can be a little bit weird <laughs> by a lot of people congratulating you by a lot of people kind of just appreciating you so make sure that you know that that you are ready to um not not to tell that is this is as a pressure but obviously there there will always be some kind of level of pressure that you'll be having onto especially crafting a new path forging a new path so whatever it is um i would say be open with the changes with shift with whatever it is in front of you because the keywords when it comes to transformation is just to receive and to be just kind of yeah accept you know certain things needs to happen it doesn't always accordingly about you know to 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 what we need and to what we wanted but it's always something that we will be appreciating by the end of the day when we look back it's just like okay that's we've done such a great job actually about it so that's what i see and yeah let's move on to file number two if you'd like to book a reading and consultation you know with me link in the description until next time bye hello there pal number two so let's see about um what's on the foreseeable future so the owl it's all about clarity the owl is all about the you know someone who's seeing many things so i do feel like you'll be awakened you'll be awakened your eyes will be wide open and i know it can be very scary but i do feel like you will be yeah in a foreseeable future i just do see that everything will starting to make sense so whatever it is that you will be you have been doing and certain coincidences you know that that happened because eclipse season is a, always an intense energy it is lazy intense energy and you know it is that's why it's very important to set up boundaries and you know the thing about owl also they are very active at night and their the rotation is literally uh 360 right so they see everything they know everything and for some reason i get a lot of queen of pentacles and queen, you know the empress energy in here so i do feel like it's more just about see and watch and hear and listen so it's not necessarily the most like action oriented i would say you know things that you're about to do or the things you wanted to do in here let's see the full card i love i love seeing that the full card is about liberation um but also it is about experimentation it's about freedom let's pull more we have the queen of swords love seeing that let's see see like all of the cards is very detached with their emotion but did i say about awakening because you can check it on google you know the hangman is literally the awakening card yeah so i think you just finally see the things that you weren't seeing before you know finally your eyes seeing things clearly so without any influence maybe from you know certain people any influence from you know certain sources in here we have the ace of wands and let's see call number two what's on the first here with future mm, i will only take the eight of um pentacles in here we have it on back the judgment card okay I do feel like on a foreseeable future, there might be some wish fulfillment definitely coming into the picture. Manifestation, first thing first, is definitely coming into the picture. And I think the cards is encouraging you to be more passionate about the things that you're doing, especially when it comes to your job. Like it is worth investing into. So I do feel like it, it's, it's a very specific scenario that I have in my mind. So maybe some of you abruptly stop doing something that you have, that you will be or have been doing for such a long time just because you just can't help it anymore. Like I said, you're awakened. So maybe you feel like you're, you're or, um, your places belong somewhere else so you might be have a, a bit of um maybe separation with certain group or maybe you've quite distanced yourself from you know from from some people because eclipse season also is all about destruction right it's about tower energy it's you know very much crumbling the whatever doesn't serve you doesn't support you doesn't worth your time anymore and i do see in here that you're going to have uh, some moment of awakening on a foreseeable future where you, it's just kind of connected every single thing that you are actually better off without whatever it is that you feel like or you thought would be 
you know, good for you because we have the judgment card and the three of wands. So this is about seeing things from a very, very wide open perspective, seeing life in a wider range, seeing life in a wider perspective, you know, seeing everything in a, in, in a wider, you know, in, in, in a more, um, you know, matured way. So I do feel like you're being called in here to stop with, um, on a foreseeable future, you're going to start the, seeing the world in a very different way. And also the way you approach your work, the way you approach your family and personal affairs, personal personal details is just different it's just going to be so very different and especially with the eight of uh, pentacles right it's about craft you know it's about your, your your own uniqueness so yeah that's the thing about um that's the thing about hmm, because i'm hearing something about like witchcraft right and and witch and and i think you know obviously the society painted us very very negatively about it but like we're literally some people just light one candle that's literally what we do and some people read cards like i do right now some people you know can see the ghost but somehow you know with certain terms like it can be so very negative being viewed because people associated that with other things so i think in the future you're going to kind of since we have the judgment card right so it's um it's more about kind of things that's supposed to happen um you're going to understand because you're going to be diverting into the path where you should be and i do see some of you is going to work maybe or kind of embracing more of your spiritual side embracing more of your um you know like those awakening in here because this two card is too powerful this is like too almighty you know the hangman and the judgment card on you know on the perspective of of you know spirituality so i do feel like you possess you know some ability to do something that maybe a lot of people hadn't had that opportunity to to be there or to be that person or to possess that ability so you have something that people don't and i think for so many years you were kind of scared of it and instead of embracing it so that's why certain things happen could be the tower moment or the world moment where you're closing some cycles and you're being set free and you are being, being diverting you know diverted into the path where you should be right now and number you know 43 also number seven right number seven is all about protection it's about guidance it's about um you know it's it's a it's a powerful number you know it's it's um going to yeah support you and it's going to lead you into the path of abundance which is number eight so that's what I see in here. It's 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 powerful. And I think mostly it is about way of living. Sun card. I love seeing that. The sun card is um <laughs> and ten of cups underneath we have in here. So just promising a very, very happy ending. <laughs> you know, promising a very, very happy life that you were going to have because yeah, I think even though let's say your life has been quite lavish, you know, as of recently or quite luxurious or we got many terms about it but i think you you might have a bit of a privilege to taste how how nice life can be but i think certain part of you still feel a bit of a longingness right or emptiness void in here about something that you should be doing instead of doing whatever you're doing right now so I, like i said i do feel like the calling has been like there for such a long time that's why we have the hanged band so it's more kind of like the final call it's like the literal final call and that kind of completes everything together like the missing puzzle and to actually getting into work it's what will really get you into the path that you're supposed to be so get ready this is a very big life um i think changing um experiences for you and and it, there is no use of fearing it i would say so be optimistic of it and and just welcome it because it, it can be avoided because we have the full card so you are already starting at the very beginning so there's no redo to it so better get ready that's all let's move on to pile number three not trying to scare you but, but that's what the card said thank you so much and i will see you in the next one let's see about pile number three Hello there, Paul number three. Let's take a look into what is on the foreseeable future. You chose Dragonfly Spirit. We have Truth, uh, Truth, Truth Sense, the Illusion in here. I'm thinking about parallel for some reason. So there might be like alternative belief um, possibility. You might be in a very confusing state right now where things are not very clear for you. You know, I feel like you're being pulled into many directions for some reason. We have, yeah, the world card, right? That's when you know you're about to go into the ending of, of some cycle that, that were there in your life because, yeah, I do feel like you're just kind of feel, feel the difference. You know, you could be coughing a lot. You could be having some sort of fever. You could be kind of feeling sick. You could be having a, you know, a little bit of an accident here and there. But I do feel like it's a big awakening awaits for you. Mm -hmm. Because we do have the lotus underneath. But it's also kind of, 
because I'm seeing some sort of reflection mirror. So I think you'll get triggered a lot along the way. That's interesting. What's on the foreseeable future, please, Spirit? Is it like it reminds me a lot of the Twin Flame Journey? I was about to say that. We have the Empress Judgment. Ooh. All right. Now that doesn't feel great. Okay. More like it. Empress Judgment card. Both together. Similar. The color blue and white could be very specific for you, like uh, blue, sky blue. Yeah, like this. I have the moon card. Pay attention to your dreams for the next couple of um, couple of weeks. Try to interpret your dreams if you can, or get someone to interpret it for you, because the dynamic in here, because the sets of the card, right? Empress is a very action-oriented card. Judgment card is a stagnant period. The same as the Three of Wands is more kind of about seeing things from the higher perspective, planning for the longer term. It's about um, someone who's about to embark on their journey. And the Moon card is more about what beyonds and what lies underneath. It's about what goes on underneath. So pay attention to your dreams. Strong, strong um, indication in here, I'm hearing. Number... 3221 could be specific for you. Oh, now that is making so much sense. We have Emperor Bottom Deck. So you could be about to meet your d divinely guided connection person. So, yeah. I was about to say Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, but no. The Spirit is like, this is the Divine counterpart. Not even counterpart. I do feel like this is the person that um, you are go you're going to meet the person who's... You and you and this person are going to change each other's life. That's what I see. That, but the 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 route to get there, it's it's going to be very very elusive. It's going to be so multifaceted and multi layered. So it goes on beyond what logic can imagine. So that's why I think it's important to balance out between your instincts, intuition, fear, mind, and understanding. Because what I see, everything has to be on certain movement. Page of Cups and the Chariot card kind of said about really embrace the uniqueness, really embrace the impossibility in here. So you could be, yeah, you could be encountering many, many weird shit as of recently, right? You could be confused. Like I said, you know, I have to feel like you are just in a state where like, what the hell? It's happening again. What the hell? You know, like it's a constant question that you got going on. But I do feel like um, it is supposed to be this way because you're about to, um, there's something that Either you will encounter this person or this person will encounter you or you're both going to cross path. But this is divinely guided and it doesn't have to be romantic because the chariot card um, is about like governance, right? This could be also about just practice of everyday life, a coach, a mentor of a sort. But this could be also romantic. Um, yeah, we have the two of um, pentacles and we have the ace of pentacles. So I see more about like a work partner in this case. Yes, yeah, specific case, knight of wands, ace of pentacles coming twice, knight of cups. Wow. So oh, we got many things in here. So I think you're going to level up pal number four. Uh, four, three, sorry. Now, 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 what's that about? Hold on, the spirits. Let's see, what's that slip up? Mm -hmm. Awakening. So watch also pal number four. Um, I haven't even done pal number four, but do watch it because I think it will might resonate with you as well. This pal. Pile number three, you have many things about to go on, uh, about to be thrown off uh, to your life. You could be even wanting a lot of rest, but that's not what's going to be given for you. So I would be apologizing first to you because I do see that things are going to get so very fast, so heated up. It's going to get like constant change, you know, like multiple, multiple people in and out your life. You're going to be so exhausted, you know, just encountering the person over and over. So. I think you're going to level up. First of all, energetically, you're going to uh, you're going to attract a lot of people into your life, a lot of new people, and you're kind of, I think, quite you're quite protective when it comes to yourself. You you build boundaries very strongly, very high, and 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 very tight as well. Um, but don't confuse boundaries with attachment, right? With avoidance, because it is different. Um, like that's why I said follow your dreams. And like, I'm, I'm not saying dreams, ideas, dreams in here, but like what you're dreaming at night, because that could be what go, what's going to assist you along the way, like w to know which one is true, which one is not. And the Empress and the Judgment card, it shows, it's more about guide what I'm saying right now. So whatever it is you're going to encounter in the future, the more action oriented and the more inspirational the thing that you'll be doing, that would be the thing that you chose. 
over stagnancy even though no, uh, you know how much money or how you know incredibly safe the environment is whatever it is that allows you to really showcase the truest potential of yourself constantly letting you move um and you know making changes making movement that's going to be the one that you chose okay and the page of cups and the chariot in here is more about uh, because chariot is is a constant doing and the page of cups is is a very highly intuitive kind of a bit immature but um also very smart and unique personality so what i see in here approach when it comes to your approach don't be so uptight only you know trying out certain things be open with many possibilities because i do see that um yeah i do see that you are being prepared for something big i can just i can't i can't really say what it is because so we have the eight of wands over here so the eight of wands is more about communication stress it's going to be like a constant you know thing that just happened and over and over so you're just kind of like oh my god what's going on am i like am i cursed like what's going on in here so i think you're going to start to think that way but you're not cursed or anything it's 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 a big um I, like I said, you know, divinely journey, divinely guided journey you're you're about to have, and I know it's not happened to everybody, so you're. Um, I guess you can call it like the chosen one, but that could be, you know, like people can make it make it. I don't know, make fun of it sometimes, um, but let's say that you will have some experiences that is so very special. Not a lot of people actually have this big mission, so yeah. And I would suggest also to learn about Matrix Destiny for this uh, pile. Understand yourself. The more you understand yourself, the more you understand about how you want to do things forward. Okay? So that's going to be it. Let's move on to pile number four. If you'd like to book a reading or, you know, for me to read your Matrix, link in the description. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next one. Hello there, pile number four. Let's get into your message and, you know, like your prediction for the foreseeable future. So you chose number 61, Turkey Spirit, gift with gratitude and grace. You could be in a quite nice position right now as of, you know, as of under presence. So congratulations because the last three decks, last three piles hasn't been, I think, have the nicest experiences all in a very high alert. Uh, one is very confusing, but I do feel like you're you're great. You know, I do see you're in a Queen of Cups energy. You're, you're doing great. So if you are not doing great, that could be only anxiety that you are, which I know not try to downgrade it in here but you might be just experiencing with um you know what you are experiencing every single day before so yeah so it's not you know it, it's not um it's not that that crazy in here compared to the other pile you know it doesn't make it less but you know compared to that like this is less crazy but let's see about the foreseeable future let's see maybe you are in a calm before the storm period oh we have the star card Nah, I, I was I was right. We have the the star card is about peace and healing, and the Queen of Pentacles is all about forging your way, ready to the top, and about maintaining stability. So I think in the future it's just more about to embrace that gracefulness that you have right now. Yeah. Oh, maybe I'm too soon to speak. We have the Tower card. Let's see more. Page of Pentacles. Nice. Okay. Let's see more. Mm -hmm. Ooh, two of cups, five of... Some of you are preparing, preparing the old structure of your life is going to get tear down so fast. So I think there might be a certain relationship that coming to an abrupt end and then following by the entering of a new relationship coming into your life. And that's going to make you feel some type of way, definitely. But I do see that you are in a mentality where you are not afraid of things to come into your life anymore like you're just kind of embrace and you're just yeah very much yeah embracing look at this we have the four of cups and we have the empress and also three of cups i'm sorry the three of swords so you might already kind of anticipated this hurt or maybe you got used to it which i'm i'm, I'm incredibly sorry if that's what you're experiencing but you're truly in a place um i think whatever it is that about to happen you can handle it that's definitely one thing i want to, i want to let you know um collective but what's about to happen in here it's going to be quite extreme especially mm, look at this we have the king of pentacles right so there might be a certain parts of your life where you're going to be asked for some responsibility in here so it's more kind of like the debt in the past that's the way i see it with the tower card and the five of uh, cups coming together so a little bit of a dark period but that those dark period i think will, will kind of just reminded you that every type of our action definitely and obviously always going to have some sort of consequences in the future even though we are not doing it now you know we're always going to you know bear the responsibility for the future so i think it will going to kind of make you feel more more thoughtful about about if you want to proceed anything 
um, it makes you yeah careful about what are the things you wanted to say it's kind of more about relearning things all over again because the star and the queen of pentacles you know I, I do feel like you're already on the top but certain things that were the pillars of, of building that foundation of success right of whatever you have right now maybe not the most let's say honest or some people that were involved in it weren't supposed to be there and just not aligned with the path that is waiting for you so i think you're going what's in the future like i'm not trying to make you sad or anything so take it whatever however you want to and you know take it with a grain of salt but i do see that it's going to be a bit of a lonely period that's waiting for you um it's it's going to be quite deep on soul searching you might find yourself feeling a bit restless a bit disappointed right you you yeah you might find yourself just kind of wanting to cry you know a lot in here because because why why did it happen to me for you know because you've done great right I, I think you're already like in the top but like I said sometimes it's not about what recently happened what we did four years ago six years ago seven years ago like all of that even just the most little thing it will be it will always be like do you know like in the future so what whenever the future is or the future is the now that we're talking about the foreseeable it's going to come but like i said i do feel like as soon as that um old structure also getting tear down it's going to lead you into a new path it's going to lead you into you know into what is um yeah what's supposed to be there um in your future and i think for some of you this could be about partnerships this could be about love and romance but i think it's more about happiness right about about happy family look at this this is lucky guest lucky syndrome kind of kind of energy so i think you're going to to be associated with the people that were just supposed to be there the people that reminded you oh i'm actually this person like i've never been that person i i actually this person and sometimes our environment can affect us um even though no matter how strong and and resilient we are i mean we're human by the end of the day so we're always going to get affected but sometimes our course of action of of handling that of responding that is not the most mature you know at times but it's okay it's part of of of, of uh, the essence of of being a human right it's a part of growing um part of journey and getting somewhere so whatever it is in front of you which again uh, it's more about things getting down getting tear down but believe that it's supposed to happen because Maybe there there were certain times in the past before where you were given a chance to fix it, but it's not, you know, maybe you, you were not realizing it. But it's all for the greater good by the end of the day because what awaits for you is something that is truly sacred. And you don't we don't want to taint the sacred the, the sacred energy with you know with the seed, right? Not I'm I'm saying that you're doing any deceit in here, but you get what I'm trying to say. And 2727, 27, 27, 37 could be specific, 11, 11 could, spe could be specific, 18, 18 also could be specific. And I would say good luck for poll number four. If you'd like to book a reading, link in the description. Thank you so much, and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye.